Hi, and welcome to our show today. I'm Lauren. And I'm Lena. And today we're going to talk a lot about mobile technology, uh, mainly iPads, as you see we have one here, and some other cool apps that kids are using all over the world. Um, we're going to start off with a video, though. There is a college in um, Florida, USF, in Tampa, and basically their education department they have this gaming lab which um, they use for active gaming which is using anything from a Wii to Xbox to all these other devices um, to get kids playing games and they're actually learning while they're exercising and a lot of times they don't even realize that they are exercising. Um, I have part of the video that I want to show right here. Um, so. Here's just a little clip of it. Okay, so as you can see uh, from the students that are kind of participating in this program, it's a really great um, way to get them moving. Um, there's results, the teachers were saying how they can focus better in the classroom, less anxiety, um, and also better really academic performance too. And it's also motivating them to want to go outside and want to keep moving. It's not really going to be a form of replacement for exercise, but it is another option right. that they do have. So. It's great for a rainy day or a snowy day if you have, you know, yeah. up north. And, and the rest of the video has really cool um, stuff in there. Like, I'd go in there and play. <laughs> cool. Well, t talk about iPads. Um, tons of schools are buying iPads. There, there's now actually grants that schools are getting um, so that they can actually purchase the iPads and kind of keep the, the kids mobile. And uh, one of the ideas is that uh, they are going to use a lot of math programs and math apps that um, the kids are going to be able to to use in their iPads. Mm -hmm. And um, there's tons of uh, already um, states kind of getting into this uh, wave of buying the iPads with Chicago, um, Virginia, California, and Arizona. Okay, Chicago is not a state. I know it's <laughs> but anyways, the the district there uh, is is actually having. Um, replacement uh, some some of the uh, old computers that they used to have with with now the iPads and the idea is that is is not just going to be about iPad uh, the applications that they have there in some of the games but actually um, be able to in implement it with what they're already being taught in the classroom and engaging the students and even though there may be some negativity about um, possibly the students okay getting tired of it or, or whatever but the idea is that um, they're changing really how they're doing kind of business in the classroom and um, I think it's great and it's very light. Yeah. Kids will be able to carry it everywhere Definitely. Um, and pick it up and even read bo books in, in there etc. So it's not just for math but you can do tons of cool things and if you've been watching our show and reading our blog you know that we bring you a lot of things that you can do um, with an iPad. So. Um, really cool that the schools are kind of um, catching on to that wave of technology. Okay. And um, a lot of apps also for not only iPad but the iPod Touch and the yeah. iPhone. Um, I found four this week that are free and they're great for kids so I just wanted to highlight some of them. The first one's Tweezel Light and this is basically like a kind of like a puzzle game. Um, it's involving birds and you kind of have to line them up matching colors and then as you do that they disappear and then you kind of discover this picture underneath. So it's like a little puzzle app. Um, it's great for kids. There's funny like characters and noises and stuff like that. So it's a great app to download. Chictionary Chik Light, <laughs> sorry I can't say that, um, is basically like a word search game and it uses like these really funny chicken characters and they have funny movements and noises and stuff like that. Um, and it's a really fun game. You can build vocabulary and kids love it and they'll have fun while they're doing it. Um, paper toss is another one. It's just basically like when you're in school and you 
play basketball with paper crumbled up right. and you want to shoot right. it in the garbage can. It's just like that, but it's using the iPhone. Um, and there's also fun background noises and like things like a fan that's blowing and trying to knock your paper ball away. But kids will like it. And the last one is Touch Physics Light, which is um, a little more advanced and a little more challenging. And it's basically using the law of physics to kind of move the objects across the screen. It looked kind of hard. I don't, know. I don't really like physics, but um, <laughs> for those of you who do. Nobody does. And I was an engineer, so. <laughs> you might like that app. Um, but those are just a few of the hundreds and thousands of apps that are out there um, that are also free that you can download and use on your mobile devices. Yeah. And talking about apps um, and uh, what Today actually starts the Consumer Electronics Show, um, or CES, how it's called. Um, it's the annual event of like the technology world and, and the year where a lot of companies release their new products, their new things, and um, this year there are going to be a lot of talk about apps in there. Um, and most importantly, a lot of tablets are going to be released. So you're not going to be seeing um, a lot of the uh, old laptop kind of thing anymore. Um, everybody, including like the schools, like I just told you, are moving to smaller devices. And the idea is that um, you can carry them anywhere and you'll be able to do a lot of things that, right. that you'll be able. And the tablets can do anything. So you'll have the business tablets, the education tablets, the tablets for um, designers, the artists, the, the kind of thing. So um, this whole year, I think we're going to be looking at tablets everywhere. Yeah. Not just the one, the playbook that I had talked about in one of our shows and one of our blogs previously, um, but you're going to be seeing a lot of what is called the Android tablets, um, seven inch kind of thing, and a lot of the accessories that come for it, um, including projectors. That's kind of exciting, especially yeah. like when I go out and, and, and present to teachers, it's got to carry all these things and stuff. So um, having the little projectors and you know having it connected to the tablets, I think is going to be great. And us in many teachers, for example, you have your um, itinerant teachers that travel from schools to schools and maybe your special ed, um, itinerant teachers. Mm -hmm. Instead of having to carry a bunch of books, you'll be able to just carry your tablet and your little projector and organize your um, classroom and so forth. So it's going to be really cool, I think, for technology yeah. this year and education. All right, well, that's our show. See you next week. <laughs>